Hey, 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 how we feeling? How we feeling? All right, so boom. Came across this video on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And we got to find out why black babies should be aborted. <laughs> Here's the thing that I think black women don't realize. And that's why I'm going to open up the phone lines. I really want to. I really want people to call in and tell me what the alternative solution is. Because what I notice is that you have a lot of people saying, well, this isn't the solution. This is extreme. Calling me Margaret Sanger, calling me Hitler, which though they're actually re emotional responses. I don't know if people know or not, but when you deflect to calling people names, that's emotional. I'm talking logical. I'm saying that these men don't serve a purpose to you. Whoa, hold on. They're killing one of us ever um they don't care anything about the continuity of blackness because they're creating a whole bunch of biracial children the largest growth was not in the black community it was among biracial and multiracial people so they're already doing it black men are already erasing you where they can it wasn't just flat out name calling they were comparing you to other figures in history who you know had similar ideologies you know what i'm saying who feel as though a certain portion of a race should be just exterminated you know, you know what i'm saying so that that was the reason it wasn't because oh i'm sad uh you were hit you know what i'm saying it's no 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 it's because you know what i'm saying you you know what hitler's done you know it, it, you know what i'm saying so that's this is a comparison rather than just flat out name calling it's not calling you no you know what i'm saying nothing nothing you know what i'm saying so that's the first thing but second of all you know i could agree you know what i'm saying the portion where she said, you know, that there's a high rate of, um, is an increasing rate of, of multiracial kids, which is, you know what I'm saying? Which, which once again, although that may, you know, that may be true, that's completely, totally up to them. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Additionally, um, if your solution here is to abort black, black males and you're, you know, your goal is to try and continue black lineage. How is that going to solve it at all? You know what I'm saying? So a portion of me feel like, you know, she's being, you know, it's like a personified, as a personification of, of, of someone who just, who's just being too extra. You see what I'm saying? Like you think she being sarcastic, but she dead ass. You know what I'm saying? She like dead ass. And that's why I ask people the question, you know, do you think that if black men, the the power do, if you do you think that if black men have the power to really control whether we exist or not do you think that they give birth to us and now we know men don't give birth but where they keep, oh black men are already showing you what they would do they wouldn't be creating biracial uh, they wouldn't be creating black children and they're not I just thought I just wanted to add this point and just thought it was funny. First of all, America is a boiling pot. I'm assuming you're talking about America here. You know, boiling pot means it's just a bunch of different races, a bunch of different cultures, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All of it is being because how densely populated America is and how di diverse it is is obviously bound to have different cultures of people, different races of people mixing, and they end up, you know, what I'm saying being together. It's bound to happen. It's expected. So, and not only is it bound to happen, slash expected to happen, you can't. Even how do you get mad at someone who chooses to be with who they want to be, right? It's, it's up to their up to their discretion. Now, um, additionally, for you to be um, piling up, you know, the people who you're using in this in this, uh, the people you're referring to in your your example here and your your uh, point, to try to pile them up and group them with every single black person or whatever in the United States to prove your point is bogus. Like you, you are, you're literally completely and totally ignoring the fact that there are groups of black couples. You have them in the celebrity scene, albeit it's not as common um, as, uh, you know what I'm saying, the regular life scene, but as, it, it, the point is still, still the same, it still remains. You can't just ignore them to try and prove your point. You know what I'm saying? And then to put the cherry on top. Aren't you dating someone outside of your race? You're you talking about you know what I'm saying preserving black lineage, which I'm not a, I'm not against. At the same time, you can't like with with the state that America is in, you can't really judge people for how they are because, like I said, it's more important. But for someone who's so strongly who feels so strongly about that, you go turn around and do this. Uh, hey, I think it's I think it's hypocritical. But I'm not gonna. I mean, just based off the point that you made, not. No, I don't have a problem with you, you know what I'm saying, doing uh with her doing this, that, and the third. 
um, or with whoever you want. That's that's cool. I think it's cool. So if if you think it's cool for you to be, you know, what I'm saying outside your race, why can't it be for them? You see what I'm saying? Like, come on. <laughs> And like, how many times are we going to see in different cities, black men putting in work to harm you? And then I'm being told when I say, well, you have a womb, you control who enters into existence. If these men are not going to raise their children, they're going to leave you single mother. Okay, see, with that point, I could agree with, you know what I'm saying? Um, although I'm not trying to relieve any responsibilities off of the the, the, the male figures or the, the black fathers, you know what I'm saying, in, in the community. I'm not trying to relieve them of any responsibility. They also have a duty to uphold. But at the same time, if, you know, you're in a relationship, that you're in a relationship with this person or you're together with this person, you know what I'm saying? And they aren't fitting to be a father. Why? Why make them a father? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's just like it's just like she was just, you know, what I'm saying mentioning, like protecting your, your, your womb that 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 is that is yours. You know what I'm saying? Um that is like that is the reason why i agree that's that's not the same as aborting black males like she's you know what i'm saying as which is the solution she's presenting to us which is still crazy to me <laughs> like that's that's a crazy title i ain't gonna lie you have the men not contributing anything to you which we know they're not they don't protect you they don't provide for you they're murdering you every six hours they're wreaking havoc on their children and you say, well, we can't live without them. What? Yes, you can. You could live without them. Just don't be with those kinds of people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, like, once again, my previous point, I'm not going to say, you know, try to relieve any responsibility off of those, um, you know what I'm saying, off of those those black men. You know what I'm saying? They also have a duty to uphold. You know what I'm saying? Um if, if they, but however, if you notice that they aren't up to that standard, if they aren't willing to put in the work, the effort of showing any kind of like good signs of being a father, then why be with them? Well, my brother, my uncle, my grandfather, that's when you're making an emotional decision. Mm -hmm. When we sit up here and say, well, look, these men aren't serving any purpose. They're harming you. They're leaving you single mothers. They're wreaking havoc in the community. The logical decision then would be to control how many of them are here. That's called. Oh, hello. Logic. So hold on, hold on. Wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wait, wait. So you're saying oh, that is crazy to me. That is crazy to me. What the fuck? You're saying that because these these men are acting a certain a different way you know what i'm saying where you know obviously they aren't providing that said any good to to the household and family that they are um together with or they're in um you say the only solution is to kill them off stop them from living like like do they deserve to die because of that no what that's that is that is ex this is this is what I'm talking about. This is an ex example of going to, like, to extremes, and you think that they're being like, you know, what I'm saying, oh, they're using like a hyperbole or of some sort. No, they're dead ass, bro. She's dead ass. <laughs> what the fuck? That's called logic. How is that? Absolutely right. And strategy. Strategy. And so we need. If if I decide I dislike a certain group of people. And I feel like, and I feel like they don't, they're not doing this, that, and the third for, for us and our community. And I just want to eradicate all of them because of that. That's logic. That's logic. And then you wonder why, you know what I'm saying, people made the, uh, the comparison, not just name calling, but the comparison to Hitler. Because he had the same ideologies, you know what I'm saying? He felt as though, you know, y'all you, you know this story, but... <laughs> She crazy dog. I swear to God. Talking about really black and we live in black male worship. We live in black male worship because I'm telling you, if black women were the most problematic in the community, this would not be an issue. And according to black men, we are the most problematic ones in the community. And they're saying they're not going to change because they don't need to. They think the problem. So based off of what you're saying right now, I mean your logic is time the third. You you off you feel like that you know what I'm saying majority of black men are the problem so you should eradicate them, like you said you, you apparently majority of us think that you know saying black women are the problem so does that mean that we should go out and just eradicate all black women no 
No, that doesn't make any sense. You understand what I'm saying? Literally just flip the logic around. Just flip the logic around. You see how it literally would not make any sense. Come on now. Use the brain. Come on. And like I say, that would literally be doing the exact opposite of the goal that you're trying to reach. Creating or, or, or keeping the lineage or black lineage alive or, or keep it going. And you want to eradicate all of them? How is that going to How is that going to help? How is, how is that going to help? Be honest with yourself. Come on now. Oh, also, let me get straight. I don't, like I said, just I said this is the second, third time I'm going to say it. I'm going to be a little bit more direct this time, though. Um, Once again, I'm not saying I'm not trying to relieve any duties off the black man because definitely there is a problem. I could agree that there is a problem, right? It, with it within the community. Like there's, you know what I'm saying? You have all these violence and all these people who are stepping up to the plate. There are those people who get um, women pregnant and then just dipping out. It's like, that all these all of these problems, you know what I'm saying? And that is definitely something that like they y'all y'all should know better. Like, what are y'all doing? You see what I'm saying? How could you know what I mean? Like y'all know what y'all are supposed to do, yet y'all are not doing it. However, the solution is not to go and just eradicate, you know what I'm saying? Like the title the title I can't get over this title. The title's just still crazy to me, dog. People are going to take issue with this, but I'm just going to have mm -hmm. to give it to you, raw and uncensored. Okay. okay. Regardless of the fact of how many of us are in relationships or who have had, you know, great experiences with black men, with our black fathers, whatever, your black son, whatever, right? Okay. I don't want to misrepresent anything or give you hope. I don't want to give you hope. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? Hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, maybe, hold on, maybe, maybe, maybe there's something else after this, maybe, maybe I'm misinterpreting, so hold on, wait, this, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I don't want you to be disappointed, because what I'm seeing more often than not is that men are interested in protecting and covering for these behaviors mm -hmm. that are harming you. I would rather, which, what, I even said that I was... Huh? So I thought it was going to be some, I thought she was going to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to misrepresent, you know what I'm saying? Like, to try and lump in those people who don't belong in with, you know what I'm saying? The group of people that they're talking about. But no, she's saying like, hey, even if they are outside of it and it may, it may seem like they're not a part of it, but they still, no, they still a part of it. Like, how does that even work? What? So, like. <laughs> So you, you like I'm I'm genuinely baffled, genuinely baffled. Don't y'all have your black fathers, black sons, black cousins, uncles, this, that, and the third? Eradicate them because you're saying to eradicate them because hey, even though they might be good now, they appear to be good. You know, it, they might be a little bit shaky in the future. So just in case, you know, no, no, that's not how it works. What? <laughs> And once again, I, I said it before, and I said it before, I said it before as well, and I'm going to say it again. What is the plan after that? If your goal is what you made it out to be, which was the, the you know what I'm saying, the continuous of black, you know what I'm saying, lineage, or was this, that, and the third, or that you claim that we did not care about, which, you know, you're insinuating that you care about. How are you solving, or how are you getting towards this goal that you're saying? You literally be doing what you're claiming that they're doing, but a hundred times worse. What sense does that even make? What goal? What is the end goal after that? Oh well, if we if, if we thought we was losing out on the black lineage, we thought it was dying out. Shit, after this plot, we might like we might just say fuck it, fuck it, right? Just get everybody out of there. You know what I'm saying? Just completely and totally kill it off. That's no. Come on, bro to stop even defending myself when women come to attack me because they need me to be in a bad situation. I would rather black women feel like they feel completely and get a true picture of what black men are. Because if you don't, then you may have, you may misunderstand the reality like I did for many years. I did not know <laughs> that black men were this bad to women. I did not know. I didn't know it was this bad. I thought it was the opposite. I thought it was just a little of them. And get this clear. Oh, I know what you're saying. I know what the reason that you're bringing this point up, and I understand that. The only problem I have with that is, first of all, actually, no. The main thing, aborting or trying to eradicate them, period, is is a whole different situation. That's nah. <laughs> that's out. You know what I'm saying? You wild. But the other thing is that all the problem I have with it is that 
you're lumping at you and uh, I guess your co-host or, or your tech person here. You're lumping everyone else in and completely ignoring the, the, the you know what I'm saying anybody who's not doing it. What's the point of a study if you're just going to include everybody? You're, you're supposed to separate, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the test subjects or the, the people that you're talking about, the concentration of, of the people that you're talking about. Apart from them, so that you can make your, you know what I'm saying, a proper judgment, a proper thesis, this, that, and the third, a proper conclusion. How are you going to just lump everybody and just say, fuck it? <laughs> that don't make any sense. Bro, come on. But no, it's the majority of them, and I don't want to give you hope. I don't want to give hope. Hey, not giving, I gotta keep pausing it, bro, but not giving hope is crazy, dog. Not giving hope is crazy. Nah, that shit is crazy, dog. All right, look, um, that was only a portion of the video. Uh, I'm pretty sure this kind of topic and uh, this kind of, um, you know what I'm saying? This idea continues on for the entirety of the video. The video is about like three hours. Um, I, I can't, I don't know. I can't, I can't take too much more of this, you know what I'm saying? But hey, you know what I'm saying? Hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Make sure, let me know what y'all think about the situation. What's y'all thoughts on it? How y'all feel about it? Is this, is it the solution? I don't know. But hey, look. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hey, 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 we can link up, eh? Yes, sir. <laughs>